Hello children, welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, today we are going to learn about living and non-living things. We are going to study about the differences in living things and non-living things and then you will be able to identify among which is living and which is not non-living. Okay? So children, what are living things? The things which can move, breathe, need air, water and food, have babies and grow are called living things. Okay. So, you see so many things on the street which move. Like you can see, you might be seeing a dog. There could be cat. There could be all sorts of other animals, cows, buffaloes, donkeys, horses, camels. And even human beings. You can see human beings walking on the street. You see them running. You see them jogging. So they move around. Okay. They breathe. If you see that we continuously take in air and exhale the air out. We take in and then we remove it. So this process is known as breathing. And all the living beings from animals to plants, even humans, birds, water animals, they all breathe. Okay. Because it's very important. They need air, water and food. Now children, what we breathe in is air. Okay. So air is as such important because breathing is very important. If we don't breathe, then our heart will not work. And if our heart doesn't work, heart and lungs don't work, then we will die. Okay. And water and food. Now children, every day we eat something. We drink water. We eat food, we eat various kinds of food, we eat vegetables, fruits and we eat pizzas, pastas and all, right? So all these stuff, all these things, water and food, they are very important. They give us the basic nutrition, vitamins, minerals, proteins so that we can live, okay? And if we don't drink water and don't eat food, then we won't be able to survive for long, okay? See, you must have tried like... Sometimes you might have not eaten food if you were angry from your parents, okay, when they didn't buy you something. You don't eat food for some while, so that later they'll maybe buy you. And when you don't eat food, you get, feel tired very fast, okay. So you, you actually don't have a lot of energy to do work. That's why water and food, they're very important. They provide energy, okay. Now have babies. All living organisms, all living things, they have babies. Even a dog has a baby, even cat has, even human beings have, even your parents have, right? You are their babies, no? See, even this elephant over here has its baby. Okay? So, all living organisms have babies. Grow. All living organisms grow. Children, um, you should see the photograph of the day when you were born or maybe you were very, very small. If you see that photograph of yours and now if you see a photograph of yours which is recently taken and shows a picture in which you are grown up, you will understand that first you were this and now you are this. You must, you will see the whole change. You will see how much you have grown. You might have grown tall or you might have grown fat. Okay. So living organisms or living things, they move, they breathe. They need air, water and food. They have babies and they grow. Examples could be man, that's human being, then dog, then monkey, then cat, then butterfly, then plants. There could be examples of plants, trees, shrubs and all. Okay? Now children, let us discuss about what non-living things are. So, non-living things are the things which cannot move which cannot breathe they don't need air water and food for their survival they do not have babies and they do not grow now move movement now you will you there might be this question in your mind that you see the cars moving right you see buses you see cars you see bus uh, vans you see trucks they're all moving on the road right cars and all so children, these cars and all these vehicles, they actually don't move on their own. They need some external help. They need help from outside. See, 
when you see if you're only seeing a van okay this van will not move on its own but if there's a human being who's driving this van then he will make it move okay but if this human being is not driving then this van it will not move okay it will not move breathe now the way we breathe the way we take in oxygen and remove oxygen out have you ever seen such a process in any any vehicle or any non living thing it could be like the crockery at the crockery that your mother has in the home the vessels the stationery that you use eraser sharpeners pencils and all have you ever seen such a moment in movement in them do they ever breathe no they do not breathe because they are non living they don't need air they don't need any sort of oxygen or any any other gas for them for them to breathe okay so if they don't need gas they don't need air because air it comprises of all the gases okay but these uh, non living things they don't breathe so they don't need air water and food no they don't need water and food have you ever seen uh, such vehicles or any other sort of non living things eating no do they drink water no but they need need fuel they need fuel that could be petrol or diesel or anything else so that they can work it's actually the human beings who drive any particular vehicle they refill the tank so that the vehicle it moves ahead okay children so it doesn't need water or food have babies now children the way you are okay you so small right have you ever seen um, and the way your parents take care of you have you ever seen a big car taking care of two three small cars which are his children no this does not happen okay because they are not living they do not have babies okay children now grow do they grow um no they don't grow like suppose you have a car which you have since the past 4 5 years and you are also suppose you're 6 6 7 years old 5 6 or 7 right so when you were one from that now you have become 6 or 7 or 8 or whatever okay whatever your age is but this car suppose you have this car from Five years. So it was once one year, and then now it's happened to be five years that this car is with you. Have you seen any change in it? Has it grown? No, because it's an it's not living. It doesn't grow. Okay, children. Only living things can grow. Now examples of non-living things could be car, house, computer, spoon, dress. That's the clothes that you wear. bus and etc suppose there could be stationery as i told you before then other other types of vehicles right then the crockery that your mother uses the fan the light the artifacts that are there at your place right so all these things they are non living things so the non living things they do not move do not breathe don't need air water and food for living they do not have babies and they don't grow Now children we have a very small exercise over here in this exercise we have to write l in front of living things and n in front of non living things okay um now from the characteristics that i've told you um just pay attention and try to actually sort out them on your own before i explain just try to sort it out on your own whether this particular thing or anything from here is living or non living okay now umbrella it's a non living thing why is it non living thing because it does not grow it does not need air water and food right and all the other traits that i've explained 
owl it's a living thing right it's it's a bird and bird is a living thing as it has babies it grows okay now a treasure box treasure box is non living okay a bed that's also non living now a mother and her children yes they are living human beings they are living even we are human beings right and we are also living a fox it's an animal and it's living a car it's non living a fish a shark a shark fish it's living now these are toys toys of small children are they living no they're non living elephant yes it definitely is living a dress a frock of a girl that's non living a yacht or a boat that's non living because it does not move on its own it needs someone from outside or some force from outside so that it can move it can either move due to the wind or by human activity okay and crow yes it is a living thing okay so i hope you're able to understand the difference between living and non living things i hope this topic is clear um thank you children for watching this session i hope you understood what living things and non living things are and you will be able to differentiate between them and um you can even do a small exercise you can just look out of your window or balcony or go into your garden and see different things outside on the street and try to differentiate and tell which is living and which is non living um thank you so much i'll see you in the next session goodbye